Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday, June 2nd of 2020. Today is our final full day of the school year, which is a pretty good feeling. Um, yesterday, you uh, were thinking about your, some of your favorite memories for the year, and I'm really, really, really excited to hear them at our final community meeting later today. Um, I have a little surprise for you all at that community meeting. So be sure to tune in, update your Zoom accounts if you haven't already done so. Uh, if you don't know what that means, ask your parents. They'll help you update them to make sure you get to the meeting on time so you can catch that surprise at the beginning. Um, now, as we start the summer, I wanna talk a little bit about goals. Goals are a helpful tool that we use in the classroom every week. You can use them at home as well. What? So I'm curious. What are three goals you have for these summer months? These could be things you hope to accomplish, things you hope to do, skills you want to grow, books you want to finish, projects you want to begin. Make a list of these goals, at least three, and hang it someplace that you will see during the summer. Now, the reason I want you to hang it up is because you can look back at this list when you feel bored and you're not sure what to do. Heck, as the summer progresses, you can add new goals to it, or once you accomplish some, you can cross them out. And just to kind of get your brain juices flowing, I know it's a little early, um, as you can see by how dark it is in my house, um, my three goals that I've already set for myself and I've written on my whiteboard in my, uh, in my office are one, I want to read a full book every week. Two, I want to ride my bike for 15 miles every day except for thunderstormy days. And three, I want to finish insulating my entire house and then rebuild my floor on my second story of my house. So those are the three goals I have for myself. What are the goals you have for your, yourself? Feel free to share them with me if you would like. And all right, now for where am I? Yesterday, I'm sure all of you, by the end of the clue, deduced that the clue was for Good Shepherd. Now today, this place is very special. Many plants and animals call this place home. Even a few humans do too. There is a pond with a dock and a rope swing. When it's wet, this pond extends into the dry areas, creating a muddy marsh, which can be fun to wade through if you have the right type of boots. There's a large prairie with all sorts of native grasses and plants. There's a small pine grove and a large forest where we find colorful fungi, delicious ramps, and many insects and amphibians. There is a barn and a garden, even a pizza oven. We take a long yellow bus to get to this special place. When we arrive, we sit in a circle and count off to make sure everyone is accounted for. Before we leave this place, we sing a special song every time. We are thankful for this place. Do you know the place I am describing? Tune in tomorrow for the final morning greeting of the year uh, to hear about where in the world I was just describing and to say so long for the rest of the year. Um, have a great morning, and I will catch you at the community meeting, everyone. Bye.